What's up guys? TW Booty on here with another video and with another reaction video here for ya. And this time, this actually is a certain subject that really does kind of, well, honestly, to really put it more simply, the video that I've already made before about don't let people tell you how to use the internet think of this is kind of like a part two to that like kind of a sequel not sequel kind of video to that but instead of being about like but this is more like centered around finn mckenty but i'm probably gonna have some of the same sentiments when it comes to this video uh but yeah, if you don't know, Finn McKenty, he's of the channel, the Punk Rock NBA, uh, one of like one of my favorite channels. I've made videos about Finn McKenty before on the channel. Some were positive, some were not positive, but um, maybe this one might be a bit more positive. Um, these people really, really hate me. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tackle this one. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it, man. Everybody, today we're going to have a, a semi-serious conversation. A semi-serious conversation here about, uh, some people who are not fans of me and my content. And what I don't want this to be is another one of these videos where some YouTuber complains and rah 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 says, poor me, I'm burned out, blah blah blah. But it is true that, uh, I am very burned out and I think these people have some, uh, they have some valid points. But what I don't want to do is just argue with a bunch of people who don't like me. So what I'm going to try to do is turn this into a larger conversation that hopefully you can maybe learn something from. Because again, I don't want this to just be like, you know, YouTuber guy talks about himself and how people don't like him and stuff like that. Uh, although I will do a little bit of that. NBA fans with the playoffs kicking off. It's time to bring the hoops action. We're going right to go ahead and skip the My promo bet just shilling part. They can score a worry. At winning cash code Finn bonus bets in all right the first thing I wanted to share here is uh, a couple of the comments I've gotten recently on this video I did the other day about uh, what the most important style of metal was so this one here this person said your ability to make so many videos out of one topic is truly a talent I watch and enjoy them all I look forward to seeing your 1000th video on the state of new metal 10 years from now See, bro, in <laughs> comments like this, dude, are just insane because it's like you don't have to subject yourself to watching these videos. This is why I don't understand about people, mainly people these days, because this was never a problem, you know, back then you know back when i was growing up but now it just seems like people love to subject themselves to a lot of unnecessary torture um i guess i'm kind of a little bit that way when it comes to playing terrible video games <laughs> mortal kombat one tekken eight or uh when it comes to like watching terrible tv monday night raw <laughs> but yeah sorry nevertheless uh yeah but in this case it's like dude come on man you don't have to watch the videos bro you do not have to watch the videos and then leaving a comment like that like this it's just needlessly antagonistic it, it's like this is why it's like i don't understand like what you gain from the like oh you gain some likes on a video it, it's like see in the fact that this comment got 150 likes is pretty sad because of the simple fact that means that there was 150 people watching this video doing the same stupid shit as this guy watching the video that they didn't even have to watch to begin with in complaining but you know agreeing with this sort of stupid behavior this is one of the reasons why i delete comments because i think some people generally just want to make comments for the simple fact of trying to farm likes um 
because they can't, you know, they can't like get anything for like because they can't make their own channel. You know, they can't make a platform for themselves. So they have to legitimately try as much as possible to bring you down. And that's pathetic, which is one of the reasons why when I delete comments, it's me getting to take that legit vein, like that satisfaction of them getting the farm likes off my shit away from them. And it's honestly pretty fun. It's pretty hilarious, especially when to see how they react. Um, I can't tell whether this person is like joking or whether they're trying to dunk on me for making so many videos about new metal. I th which which they don't have to watch, by the way. The way, I mean, it is it is it is valid. I have made a ton of videos about new metal, and I do not think that they are particularly original or exciting or amazing or anything like that. The reason why I keep making them is because people keep watching them. And you can see there's 150 likes on this, which is kind of a lot. So. I mean, clearly people are saying, well, all right, well, maybe you've made a few too many videos about new metal. I love you, Finn, but I have noticed correctly or otherwise that you seem to be getting tired. Am I wrong? Are you thinking of taking things in a different direction at any point? I'm not going to take things in a different direction. Uh, yes, I am very tired, but no, I'm not going to take things in a different direction. And I will talk about that in just a second. Here's one that's a little bit less charitable. This guy said, I feel like this channel has officially run out of things to talk about rehashed content getting kind of stale to be honest where's the remote um and uh the see obviously that person's trying to be funny it, it's like the thing about that is well for one um you clicked on the video you could have not clicked on the video but you clearly clicked on the video just to go in the comment section and farm for likes which judging from right here doesn't look like it worked too well for you uh mr lou rock or mrs lou rock whatever um yeah because you only got two likes so yeah how's that like farming gone for you not too good it looks like uh but it, it's it's honestly kind of crazy man um uh, yeah that people just literally try to do this sort of like what do you really actually gain the first question i have is uh do you have a remote control for your phone could be watching <laughs> like on that. their I would tv like to get a remote control for my phone i think that'd be that would be kind of cool i though. made a video the other day uh, or a couple weeks ago called like why metal peaked in the 2000s and a lot of people basically made the comment of like haven't you made this video before and they're right and i think this guy is right too i have run out of things to talk about i think my content absolutely is rehashed and i think it's stale too and i'm not super happy about that i'm not I mean, I think these people have a valid point. The thing is that, and again, I'm not complaining about this. I don't want to say like poor me or anything like that. But the, the thing with the internet is that it wants you to be extremely specialized. It wants you to just do mm -hmm. one thing, right? Like think about yes. on TikTok, if there's someone relate. that, I don't know, makes videos of them like cutting things with a chainsaw. Well, they can't do anything other than cut things with a chainsaw. Like they can't make a video about food or TikTok about food. You know, they can't talk about their life. You see this when people are known for one thing and then they do something else, then their views drop, right? Their views drop like crazy. And that's the same thing for me. You know, I've been making videos for seven years. Like, to be honest, I think my content used to be better. I used to take a lot more chances, but basically what I, I used to talk a lot about a lot more like newer artists and stuff like that back in say 2018, 2019. But before I kind of want to stop them here because like, that's the thing, man. And this is what any content creator, large or small, um, why can't it be both like it's like you shouldn't have the sacrifice like making the content that you want to just to get viewed like you should be able to make the content that you like and still make the content that gets a lot of views honestly it's one of those things that if you keep at it um you know if you stay very passionate about it uh, you stay consistent about it. Eventually, those videos that you like to do that may not be that one thing that everybody knows you for. 
eventually those will get views. It happens. You know, there's um, gaming content uh, on my channel that is gotten some more views than the wrestling videos. And most people kind of know me for the wrestling takes. Um, that's really just what it is. It's like it, it's more about if you really just have the passion to keep doing that type of content and you stay persistent in just like even if it doesn't get any even if it doesn't really get the views you want or if it hardly gets any views the fact that you want to do that content should be enough of a motivation right there now it doesn't mean completely abandon the content that people come to your channel for which i now had to learn uh because you know i wanted to like not be known as a wrestling channel for so long that i was just worried about being known as that and i almost was ready to completely abandon um wrestling uh i'm glad i decided not to because i now figured out that there should just be room for both the content that gets you views and the content that yeah the content that gets you views but maybe you don't like as much or may uh in the content that maybe you like a lot but doesn't get you views it should just be a bit of both or in a perfect world it could like both the content that gets you views and content that doesn't can like be both things that you enjoy doing like but yeah I, I i know that's not the case with most uh creators but yeah i mean i just hate the idea that you know youtubers get burnt out and stuff like that and i'm not saying that as a knock against finn or any other youtubers i'm saying that as if you hate like as a con as a fellow content creator i hate to see that um because you know youtube mainly should be like kind of a passion project it shouldn't be like it shouldn't feel like a job even if it is a job for some people it shouldn't feel that way it should feel like something that you're passionate about and that you pour your heart and soul into instead of just like another shift at like a nine to five bullshit job um at a factory or a retail job or office job or anything like that it should feel like something that you legitimately want to do and that's what i want youtube to feel like once it gets to that point where i start doing this as a full-time job that's the goal right there like w because i know it's gonna happen um it's pretty like it like i know eventually i will be able to do this full time and once i'm able to do this full time i want to make sure that i have the same amount of passion for doing this um as i as i do now you know i don't want that to change whether it's a thousand whether it's ten thousand whether it's a hundred thousand whether it's a million i don't ever want that to change and i want to stay as passionate about this as humanly possible sorry i just kind of bit my tongue a little bit there <laughs> shit but let's get back to the video even maybe like 2020 but what i realized is that whenever i talked about something new it would get lower views and negative comments and whenever i talked about anything other than basically like millennial rock guitar music people didn't like it they got mad i agree but Damn, previous really? to the new metal content you were known as the guy who broke down all different types of music and bands however i do understand why you stick to what makes the money that's not true i was never known as the guy that broke down all different types of music and bands before that I was known as somebody that talked about rock music for millennials. That's all I've ever been known for. That's all my audience wants. Like anytime I've tried to talk about a new artist, people don't like it. They get mad. For example, back in 2018, 2019, I talked about like emo rap and trap metal quite a bit. Those are some of my most disliked videos ever. You can go read really? the comments of those. People hated Damn, those. Dude. They hated that I talked about that kind of stuff. They said it was all trash, you know, auto tune or trap drums. Why don't you talk about some real music? They hated it. So why would I make more content that my audience obviously hates, right? I painted my... It's because you love it. Like, 
It's like, this is the thing, and this is what I was talking about in that one video. You can't let your audience dictate everything you do on your channel, bro. You can't. Like, honest to God, it's great that people watch our videos, but we as content creators, small, medium, or big, cannot let you solely dictate what we do you know we should be able to do other content that we like to do without having to worry about if oh you're not gonna like this or oh it's not gonna get a lot of views i think that has i, I think that sucks that any content creator has to go through that luckily for me i don't have to go through that not because everybody likes everything that i do but because i love what i do so much that rather people hate it rather people love it or rather it gets ignored sorry my elbow hit the fucking table uh, uh the desk or whatever but <laughs> yeah but despite all that i love doing all of this content bro even the even the wrestling content, gaming content, all that type of stuff. I love doing it, bro. And the greatest thing about this is I'm going to be doing even more content. That's right. Even more content is coming to the channel. Like, not only am I happy doing the videos I do now, but I'm going to be adding even more different type of content to the channel, uh, such as reviews and stuff like that for TV shows, movies, video games, all that type of stuff. Just like I do with some of the reviews for like a pay-per-view like with WrestleMania that I recently did. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that in maybe that will get views maybe it won't but it won't matter at the end of the day because it's something that i want to do and something that i'm gonna do despite if people like it or not or if they just flat out ignore it that's just how it's gonna be because at the end of the day this channel has always been mainly for me to kind of get myself out there doing content i love to do but if other people like it then that's a bonus but yeah that that's just what it is i think that's just the mentality that really all content creators need to have because if they do i guarantee you we will truly see a renaissance in youtube but because people are so worried about like sponsorships and views and all that yeah, we're, we're going to see a lot of YouTubers sadly get burnt out. And, and it's really unfortunate because they're letting like ad revenue and like views dictate their whole fucking existence. And that shit sucks. Myself in a corner. I didn't paint myself in a corner at all. I tried very hard to talk about different kinds of stuff, but every time I tried to talk about something different, it got shot down. So what am I supposed to do? Why would I do that shit anyways if you like it? Fuck if they don't like Yeah, man. Seriously, fuck if they don't like that bullshit, man. Like it's something you like because at the end of the day, your audience is important. But what's more important is you like your like it's what you like what you want to do your like sort of like mental well-being because it, it, it's like health before wealth you know you got to make sure that you're straight because if you're not straight if you're not in the mood to do it if you're not feeling a passion to do it uh, it's going to come out. It's going to come out in the content and people are probably going to see through it and people are not going to like it. And as a result, it's going to affect the video and it's going to affect you very negatively, which is why I keep saying that, like, people should not let the audience dictate what content they fucking do it like that. They really shouldn't make content that my audience doesn't like that makes no sense right why would you it put does out make a video sense. that your audience hates why would you do that do you think this is if it's something you like but if it's something yeah it, it it makes sense if it's something you like but if it's something that you nor the audience likes then that doesn't make any sense but if you like it but maybe the audience doesn't that makes sense like this is 
what I come back to a lot because I was one of the people that didn't like this, and I always spoke very vehemently about this. Um, I, one of my first YouTube channels, uh, not YouTube channel, but YouTube videos, was speaking very loudly about this. Um, even in real life with some of my friends back in like high school or whatever, I always talked about how I didn't like the Path to Totality uh, album by Korn. Uh, because to me, it just didn't sound like corn. Uh, but I respect the fact that they took the chance to go out and make this completely foreign sounding record. Um, like I respect the fact that they did that. Now, do I like the album? Hell no. Even in 2024, I still think it sucks. Uh, but I still can respect the fact that they went out and did it in that kind of like bravery is what really inspires me to kind of like go out and take the chances that I do no like even if I fail or even if I don't sustainable I mean as long as new songs keep coming out this could kind of and I think that's something that should inspire, like, most people. Even if you fail, it's not the end of the world. Like, oh, okay, this doesn't work out. Just, yeah, like, fucking do something else, even. Or maybe try it again, but try to do it in a different way and see if that works out or whatever. Yeah, that's really just all that is. If, if you're passionate enough about it, if you want to see it through enough, then... That's the kind of mentality you need to have if it if, if it's going to succeed or not. You got to just keep on, you know, trying to push, you know, for that. And I know for a lot of people, it's easier said than done. But, yeah, you know, I, I just hate to see um, people like burnt out of YouTube like that and feel like that they can't do other stuff that they want to do because you know it doesn't get views or other people don't like it i i, I you hate to see that as a con as a fellow content creator coast and limbo forever perhaps seems incredibly frustrating for a creator no it's not sustainable it's not sustainable for any creator really this is just sort of the nature of the beast for people who create anything you can think about this for example you know any of the sort of like classic rock bands like let's say um poison oh uh, yeah yo brian okay uh for, yeah okay uh for 23 this comment right here based fucking comment finn i like your content just be yourself fuck the haters real shit man just be yourself all in all no matter what content you do be yourself man and put as much of that as much of you into that content as possible even if it's something that you've never done before but you really want to do even if it's something that seems out of your league but just put as much of you into that shit as possible and you know people will eventually come around um let's let's say that this is just sort of the inevitable path for anybody who makes any kind of art or content it has to be about what you want as much as what we want well no that's not how yeah no that that honestly yeah i i do agree with that Oh, it works. So let's take a band like Poison. Imagine you went to see Poison and they didn't play the hits. Talk Dirty to Me and Every Rose Has Its Thorn, Unskinny Bop and whatever else. People would be furious, right? They'd say, well, I didn't pay all this money and get a babysitter and pay for parking and all this to hear you play a bunch of songs off your new album that I've never heard of. Right? I mean, that's just sort of the nature of the beast. They have to show up and they have to play the hits. How many times? Well, why can't they just play both? Why can't they play the hits and play something off their new record? They could do that. Mix it up. You know, you have some, you know, you have some hits in there. And then, you know, after playing one of those hits, you know, you kind of slide one, of, maybe one or two new songs into that set and see if people like it or if they don't. You know, kind of like a test run. Why? What? I, I don't get why. I don't get why that's like such a hard thing for people. You, you never know if people like it if you don't really like see it through. 
I mean, because, yeah, it may not do well the first time, but that doesn't mean people don't like it. Maybe it's just that not enough people have been exposed to it yet. Times it happened that a band comes out and they did one thing and then uh, they changed up their style a little bit and people don't like it and they want to go back to playing the stuff on the first album. This is like every band, right? People want you to do one thing. They well, I think sometimes... Yeah, there's some people out there who want that, but I think for the most part, when it comes to that sort of thing, like, people mainly just want, like, if you're going to play something new, it needs to sound like you, and I think that's one of the reasons why people didn't like um, the direction that Linkin Park was going in from, like, 20 minutes or however, yeah, I think it's like 20 minutes to midnight or whatever the fuck or minutes to midnight or whatever um, to like wasting light like those albums. Yeah, like like, yeah, from that album to wasting light or whatever, they didn't like the direction that they were going uh, after like Meteora and shit like that because it got to a point where it didn't really sound like Linkin Park anymore. It just probably sounded a little more like like Chester like a Chester Bennington solo album with occasionally Mike Shinoda um, collaborating. Like that's what it started to sound like after a while. It sounded like those records as they went on started to sound less and less and less and less and less and less and less like Linkin Park. It didn't really. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest issue that people had with that shit. It's not so much that they just wanted to hear Meteor or hybrid theory over and over again. And I think that's something that a lot of people don't realize whenever um, they do something like whenever uh, someone tries something new and they don't like it. it. It's not that they want somebody to just go back to the old ways. It's that whatever you're doing now is just completely foreign. Like, it's like, because I think really, because really just what it is, is like whenever people try something new, instead of like putting their own flavor into that new direction, they go so off the fucking curve that they just completely stop sounding like themselves. They completely just, they either stop sounding like themselves. They either don't look like themselves. It either just is nothing like how, you know, they used to be, like how it was known for. Seriously, it's like, it's like, let's say, I guess, uh, for example, fucking... Frazier suddenly started or, or like Cheers suddenly started doing slapstick. People would have hated that shit. Like in the later seasons like they suddenly started doing like slapstick comedy or some shit instead of just like the regular, you know, kind of topical comedy um, sitcom comedy or whatever that they did before like in the bar and all that. They just started doing a bunch of wacky, you know, um, slapstick stuff for no reason when uh, a bunch of fart jokes and all that. And I think that's why some people even kind of hated the new Spongebobs for a time because it started to become less and less like Spongebob and became more like fanboy and chum chum. Like, I think that's something that creators of any kind got to realize. People don't just want you to do the same thing over and over. They don't want just the same old stuff they like they basically just want if you're gonna do something make sure that it has enough of you in it put your flavor into it but yeah i i, I just hate how whenever someone doesn't like something new it's just always deduced to just that like maybe they just don't like it because they probably haven't been exposed to it enough yet um you know, so maybe you'll probably have to, like, maybe do it more often or, you know, to kind of really get them to notice. Or maybe you got to try something a little bit different, maybe. But that's really just what it is. I mean, like, like that's 
it's like I think it's that people would be a lot more open to those sort of things if you just either were a little bit more persistent with it, maybe a little bit more passionate about it and stuck with your guns instead of just saying, oh, well, this didn't get the immediate reception that I wanted it to. Uh, this didn't immediately like become an instant success. So that means it's automatically a failure. No, things take time. Things take fucking time. And I did this like, I, I think that's another common thing about people is that people are not patient. You know, they just expect things to always work out like immediately. It's like that doesn't happen. It's like I would love to already have like a thousand subscribers, but I understand that something like that is going to take time. And like, it's like I know that and understand that, but. That just means that I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing already and love what I'm doing and know that I'm going to eventually get there. I mean, I'm not going to maybe just sit around constantly like waiting for it all my life, but that doesn't mean that I'm just going to give up on it either. I'm going to keep striving to get there and yeah, it'll happen. They don't want variety. They don't want you to change. Everybody will say, nah. oh, we want you to do what makes... I mean, some people probably don't want variety. I, there are people out there who don't want variety, who don't want change. But I think that's like a real small portion of people. Most people probably, if you're doing anything different, just want it to have as much of you in it as humanly possible. That's all makes you happy we want you to do what you're interested in but when it comes down to it that's not really what they want what they really want is for you to play the hits right like nobody wants poison to make a country album right that's just how it goes there's a very very maybe if it sounded a little bit like poison they probably would want it to like if they still had that same kind of poison energy into it instead of just like flat out trying to sound like tim mcgraw <laughs> then yeah it's like if they're trying to like because that's the thing if poison were making a country album um people would probably like it if it still sounded like poison but if they're going out there trying to sound like tim mcgraw or something like that then of course they're not gonna like it because then it's not gonna sound like poison just like if for example like with my content uh most people like the wrestling content that i do uh, but if suddenly I'm going out there and I'm trying to make, uh, FGTV type content, then of course they're not going to like that. Or if I'm trying to make PewDiePie type content, then of course they're not going to like that. And they're going to be like, well, what the fuck is this? I came here for TW Booty Hunter, not P PewDiePie part two. Like, come on. A very small number of creators, like say, you know, Asmongold or or PewDiePie or something like that, where they're sort of able to talk about anything, like Asmongold. Because they're themselves. That's what it is. They're themselves, and they clearly are passionate about what they're talking about. You know, he does reactions to just about anything and gets hundreds of thousands of views on them, and that does great because, you know, for whatever reason, he's been able to make that work, but... That's not really realistic for most people. Not well, it's not because the algorithm is very, honestly, it's really random. It, it's random as shit. You know, there's, I'm getting like thousands of views on videos and stuff that I never thought I would get that many views on or even half that many views, but somehow I was able to do it. And then videos that I thought would maybe get a lot of views don't get a lot of views. The algorithm is just very random, so it doesn't always work out like how you want it to and i think that's just more of a youtube thing than anything else not so much of like a content creator or audience type thing i've tried a lot can you do both play the hits and do new stuff well, yeah whenever i do stuff other than like millennial rock nostalgia it gets low views and negative comments so i don't know what to do i mean i just think i mean you're gonna get negative comments no matter what though that's the thing. And it's like you can either let like you, and it's like you can handle those comments a bunch of different ways. You can either use it as motivation. You can either just completely cancel that shit out if you want to 
or you know, on the lean or whatever. Um, or you could sit there and cry about it, which I don't recommend because that doesn't really get you anywhere. And it kind of just like messes with your head. I don't know. Like, I think that's, I, I think the other two options are really just like much better. Um, I think maybe I'm just not good enough at it. The point I want to make here- I don't think it's that, man. I it's just got to be more persistent at it and love what you're doing, despite whatever views it gets. Here is not for me to, like, cry about this and say, wah, 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 poor me. The point I want to make here is that I'm incredibly fortunate to have any audience at all, right? I'm incredibly grateful that anybody gives a shit what I have to say about anything at all. And if that means I, you know, have to make a video about Papa Roach and saliva or whatever, then cool. You know, my job is to make content that people like. This is not about me. It is about you at the end of the day. I'm here to serve the audience because you guys are the reason that I do this for a living. <laughs> I knew, was, I, I knew he was gonna say that. I knew he was gonna say that. I knew he was gonna say that. I hate that mentality. That's exactly the type of shit I was literally talking about in my fucking video that I made a couple of days ago. I literally hate that fucking mentality. You guys are the reason I'm like, ugh. That's giving these people too much power. This is why you have a lot of these freaking. This is why us youtubers have a lot of these audiences that come in and make the stupid bullshit comments like they do now is because you give them too much power they they their egos grow so fucking massive that they legitimately start thinking that hey I have full control over this person, over the content they make, over their name, over all that. They start literally thinking that they're gods. It's like you cannot give these people that kind of power. You can't. You cannot do that because that just breeds like a lot of this sort of very weird, I hate to say toxic behavior that you see in these YouTube comments. Honestly, you cannot give these people that kind of power, man. Ser like, uh, uh, no, 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 no. That is a recipe for disaster, dude. That only results in nothing but just complete bullshit. Um, and it's like, and I like, I don't like that mentality of oh, you like. You viewers wouldn't, like, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you viewers. First off, don't get me wrong. Love you guys. Love you guys to death. I'm grateful as hell that you're all watching my videos. But, dude, I was doing this shit consistently when nobody was watching, dude. When I had maybe, like, two subscribers, I was still doing this shit consistently. Um, when I had, like, yeah, when I had... Yeah, when I had maybe like 15 people watch my videos or whatever, I was still doing this shit consistently because of the fact that I loved it. Because as much as I love y'all, y'all not here when I'm recording the video. Y'all not recording the videos with me. Y'all not editing the videos with me. Y'all not coming up with the thumbnails. Y'all ain't coming up with the titles. Y'all ain't doing none of that shit. The only person that is actually collaborating me with me on anything is... Courtney who helped me make my intro or at least the music part of my intro like my dog Courtney that's the only other person that's collaborated with me on this channel other than that everything is done 100% by me you just happen to be the audience that watches my content which I'm grateful for by the way but I don't like that mentality that us content creators would not be here if it wasn't for you no we probably wouldn't have the views and maybe subscribers, but in terms of just, ooh, the content itself, no, the content would still be here. Honestly, <laughs> if we're going to be real, maybe that's the case for a lot of creators, but I think that's where they really kind of like put themselves into a corner and they essentially just become slaves uh for you guys they become slaves for you viewers and that's what gives a lot of these people in the comment section such overinflated egos and just feeds in to incredibly like 
negative behavior, like incredibly just like toxic, sometimes even borderline psychotic behavior. That's what feeds that type of stuff, man, is giving these people that kind of power, bro. There's a reason why checks and balances exist. <laughs> like, can you imagine if the U.S. government just gave, like, the all, like, ev like if basically power to any country just went to the citizens? There was no governing body or anything like that. There was no police force or anything like that. There needs to be that because laws and rules need to be in place. Checks and balances need to be in place because when you let the inmates run the asylum, you get chaos. That's why you should not give these viewers this kind of power. You can't do that. Or else you get situations like where Finn is at now with his content. I just don't like that crap, man. And I don't like that cre content creators keep giving viewers all this kind of power when they should not have that. Like, viewers are there just to, like, watch the content and give their feedback. Nothing more. Like, and that's not trying to sound controlling. That just is what it is. We make the content. We entertain you. You like sit there and be entertained or not be entertained or whatever like it shouldn't be anything more than that and you know that's just how it is you guys are the boss so no 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 the only person that is the boss of your channel is you that like you the content creator or I guess whatever sort of like or I guess if maybe you like you're on a team or whatever and I guess maybe you got a boss there, then that person might be your boss. But other than that, the only other boss besides you or that leader of whatever team um, that the channel's in or whatever uh, is Team YouTube themselves. Those are the only other bosses that are in charge of your channel because otherwise it's you the content creator not the audience the content creator or creators it's you and team youtube who are the bosses who decide what happens on your channel you the content creator because you create the content you create the channel all that type of stuff in team youtube obviously because it's their freaking platform so yeah the audience doesn't have anything to do with that shit they watch and give their feedback in be entertained or not be entertained e either way it's their choice but it's not their choice as to what happens to your channel or not you should never give people that kind of power man ever and this goes for any content creator no matter what the size of the channel do not ever do this ever because you sub you just subject yourself to so much cloudery when that happens you subject yourself into so much unnecessary bullshit when you do that seriously don't ever do that like, it's good to be grateful for them watching your content, but there's a line, man, and you do not ever let these people cross that line. Ever. 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 All right. Rant over. Let's get into, back into the video. Instead of being angry about that or being frustrated by it, what I choose to do is focus on being grateful. With anything in life... It's you can still be grateful, but still um like <laughs> not let the inmates run the asylum being grateful for that doesn't mean that you have to be a complete pushover and get on all fours and just spread your goatsy and completely just let them go right inside you with no lube no wrapping whatsoever no, that doesn't mean be a whore. That means you can still be grateful, but not be a total pushover. That's what that means. That means 
being in that means being level headed and being in control of your product. It's very easy to look at the negative and focus on finding fault with it. You know, any job that you have or any relationship that you have or your appearance or anything else in life, it's very easy to find fault in it and talk yourself out of being happy. Do you ever consider? Well, guess what? Let me tell you. Let me tell you something about jobs, though. Let me tell you something about jobs. There's bosses at those jobs. There's managers. You know, you know, there's managers and shit. There's supervisors. I can tell you one thing that they do. I can tell you one thing, or no, I can tell you one thing they don't do, and that's let the employees take full control. They don't do that. <laughs> they don't do that because shit would go wrong if they did that, obviously. <laughs> they, they're not pushovers. Because when you're a pushover and you try to be everybody's friend, shit just goes wrong and people take full advantage of that. Consider about doing crossover content with other creators who have a bit of a varied audience that you do might help spice it up. Um, I've done that a few times with my podcast and those all bombed. What my audience wants is for me to talk about music that they liked in high school. That's that's what they want. I mean, more guest spot on other people's things. I saw on Fat Mike's podcast, but outside of that, I haven't seen you anywhere. I'm not really that interested in being on other music podcasts. That would be more of the same. I've been on tons of business podcasts, but you guys don't watch them because you don't want to hear me talk about business. I've probably been on 10 different business podcasts in the last month or two months, and nobody watches them because you guys don't want to hear me talk about business. You guys want to hear me talk about music you liked in high school. That's yeah, just life. Sense. You know, it's easy to think that the grass is greener and, you know, that, um, that there's some world out there in which you get to just do whatever you want, but that's not how life works. That may not be how life works, but when it comes to something that you create, when it comes to your art, you know, when it comes to your content, that should be how it works because it's your shit. It may not work on every other aspect of real life, but when it comes to your art, that's exactly how it should work. You should not let other people be in control of your shit. Otherwise, it ceases to be yours. I don't get how this is such a hard thing to get, how, how this is such a hard thing to understand. It's freeing in a way because the specifications are defined. Yes, exactly. That's right. Stay in the lane, deliver, and log off. That's it. As far as my content being stale, I think it's absolutely true. The other thing that I want to talk about on that point, the term for this is audience capture, which is basically the idea that once your audience wants a thing, you have to give them more of that thing if you want to stay in business. And this is a larger problem with media in general. For example, like to use... Well, yeah, you're definitely right about that. And that's the case with most businesses. Um, but the problem with that is um, sometimes your audience doesn't exactly know what they want. That's the thing. Sometimes your audience doesn't exactly know what they necessarily know what they want um especially when it comes to like wrestling marks uh and all that type of stuff uh they don't always they say they want something but then when they get it they don't necessarily like want that thing after all like for example with cody rhodes they say they wanted that now look how that's turning out and then on top of that when it comes to your content, it's like I, I, I think that's the problem where Finn's kind of going into because he treats his content more kind of like a business where I think as to most content creators, you really should before anything, it should be something fun. It should be something that you're passionate about. It should be something that you love to do. Like when you treat it like a business, you treat it like a job. Of course, it's going to get daunting because most jobs suck. <laughs> Nobody like like if people like in a perfect world, if people could literally just be able to live their lives without having to work a day in their lives. Yeah, 
in a perfect world, but that's just not how it works. Some people like, you know, jobs and all that shit. Yeah, dude. Like that seriously. If you treat the shit like a job, then yeah, it's going to feel like a job and then it's not going to be fun anymore because most jobs aren't fun. <laughs> two big brands that everybody would know new york times and fox news fox news has to say that trump is good right or their audience will riot new york times has to say that trump is bad or their audience will riot that's just the nature of the media business it's not just me it's everybody this is a problem nah, no nah, i mean I, that well that's the thing that's only if you treat like your content and your art as a business and not as something that comes from the heart then that's where it becomes true but otherwise yeah it's not true law yeah uh, otherwise it's not true at all and you could be as free and expressive with that as humanly possible even if it doesn't get the immediate results you want problem because we shouldn't want that it's a pretty negative thing for society in general because we should want to live in a world where people can share original ideas and challenge their audience's beliefs. But that's just not how it works. People don't. I mean, it is how YouTube can work if you're willing to let it. Because I make content that often challenges people's beliefs and stuff like that. Not because I'm trying to convert them into a special way of believing. They don't have to even agree with it at all or even believe in it at all. But because I feel strongly about it and, you know, I want to talk about it, I talk about it and I don't give two shits rather uh, whatever negative comes from that or, you know, positive comes from that because I want to talk about it. If any positive comes from it, great. If any negative comes from it, then, I mean, I'm willing to listen to it to a degree. But, yeah don't want that so this is not even about me it's much bigger than just me so i would say like what you should do is go out of your way to find content that maybe challenges what you believe and talks about things that you didn't think you're interested in like make a conscious effort to expose yourself to ideas and topics that are new to you rather than just I trapping agree. yourself in an I echo definitely chamber tend filter to do that often which of is the same stuff that you've really heard a million fun. times before that's sort of the larger thing and you look at an example of this sort of in the rock world again and and the effects that that has let's look at what's on loudwire we've got creed Guns N' Roses, Linkin Park, Slipknot, Van Halen, Allman Brothers, Iron Maiden, you know, 90s rock songs. It's all this like basically retro stuff because that's the only thing that rock audiences will accept is basically all this nostalgia content. You know, the audiences are the problem here. It's not creators. I guarantee you that the people at Loudwire don't want to write another fucking article about Creed and Iron Maiden. I absolutely fucking guarantee that. But they don't have a choice because that's what their readers want to see. So again, if you want to live in a world where you know people can share ideas and talk about things like new music you got to vote with your clicks that's the way it works you got to vote with your clicks to get back to what this person said i mean i totally agree i totally agree i think my content is absolutely rehashed and stale and i don't know how much longer i can do it because the lane that i'm allowed to talk about is very 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 narrow like basically what i can talk about and still get views and, and not get negative comments yeah. is I can talk about rock music that was popular from basically 1999 to 2007. That's sort of the lane. So you think I'd quit? Yeah, of course I'll quit. I'm hoping that I can keep doing this stuff for the rest of this year and then probably I'll quit. Like, what else is there for me to talk about? What do you do? Like it's whatever you want to talk about, man. Or hell, if it's even that important... Why not make a separate channel for that shit even and then just see how well it does. And then or even if it's if you're not expecting it to do well, just you can make the channel and just like talk about it and like, you know, like make the channel and just like make videos you want to make specifically on that channel. And then you could stick to doing the content that everybody else wants on this channel. Um, you can promote that channel. It, like, it's a ton of different things you can do. Or even you can mix it up and have the content that gets views and the content that doesn't. Th there's possibilities with that shit. You just got to be willing to do it. 
Like, do you want me to make 50 more videos about Limp Biscuit? I've been doing this for seven years. My audience will not let me talk about anything else. So what do you want me to do? Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about <laughs> is this, which a very good question here. I want to know why everyone hates Finn McKenty. <laughs> Damn. That's the question I want to know too, <laughs> because you say things people don't want to hear. Well, that's the actual truth. The reason why people hate me is indeed because I say things that people don't want to hear, which is sort of- Well, they're just a bunch of pussies. <laughs> that's really just what it is. What I was talking about earlier, which is that audiences want you to confirm the things that they already believe. That's exactly. basically the only way to make a living making content is by telling your audience what they want to hear. And if you tell them something that they don't want to hear, well, then they stop watching your videos and you stop making money. I don't agree with that because sometimes, I mean, <laughs> usually some of my videos where I'm talking about stuff that people don't want to hear, uh, most of the views come from a lot of the fuckers that hate watch. <laughs> Honestly, they hate watch and then they bitch and moan in the comment section and I either completely just ignore it or I yeet their comment the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> so it's honestly pretty fun for me either way. I get the views and they just stay mad. And I've been willing to have a lot of unpopular opinions, but you know, I, it's like really, if you notice in the past, in the past couple years, I completely took all the personality and humor and opinions out of my main channel videos because it made people so mad, right? And like, why would I do things that make people mad? There's no reason for me to make a video that up. If it's something you feel strongly about, you could, and then hell, you could still get the view, like reap the benefits from it too. Cause if the fuckers are hate watching, Hey, that's their problem. They didn't have to click on the video. You can still get views. Meanwhile, they're sitting behind the screen completely stewing and punching the air like the Cuba getting junior or something. So, yeah, that's a way that that works out, honestly. Upsets people. Why would I do that? Right? And then you see people that say shit like this, um, like this guy. Uh, fuck Finn McKenty, bruh. I fucking hate him. I want to slap his stupid ass face. Fucking psychotic. <laughs> like, listen to this. This guy's saying... How, how does a video or a YouTuber ever get you that pissed? ...that he wants to physically attack me for... <laughs> For what reason, right? For what reason? That comment should seriously be reported. Reason? I literally have no... I would report that fuck. Like, honestly... That type of comment would honestly be really good to use for a fanboy salt video and then report it. Yeah, like literally report that, like use it for the video and then report that shit literally right afterwards. No idea. <laughs> or this guy here, poor Lucas. I hate Finn McKenty with every fiber in my being genuinely. <laughs> Yet you have a similar background to his. If that doesn't scream serial killer vibes, I don't know what does. How do you have a similar background to him, but you hate him so much? Very interesting grammar here. Um, Lucas, you should have said, I genuinely hate Finn McKenty with every fiber in my being. Or you, you could put a comma. Why pay over a hundred bucks a month? between being and genuinely it could be i hate finn mckenty with every fiber in my being comma genuinely would be okay i would say that's a little weird but uh yeah and I, ironically it does look like he copied my background right that's the point you're missing so wikipedia style videos on both band history and the stuff you want to do you're not going to watch a video if i tell you how to get a raise at work which is what i would want to talk about you're not going to watch that you come well i mean who cares if they're not going to watch it if you once again, if you feel passionate about it and you want to do it, do that shit. Who cares if they're not going to watch it or not? If it's something you want to do, then do it. Nobody should have you by the balls, man. Especially when it comes to it being your channel. I mean, you're not working for anybody. You're not under a corporation. I mean, I mean besides YouTube themselves, I mean, <laughs> other than that, yeah, YouTube ain't sitting there telling you what content you should be only be doing or not. Like, that's entirely up to you.
come to me to hear me talk about rock music. You don't want to hear me help you with your career, which would probably be the thing I would enjoy talking about. Anyway, getting back to the topic here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like these people are crazy. Yeah. They're like literally insane. Like, obviously it's funny, right? They honestly like, seem like Cody psychopaths. Off, on the other hand, like you go search my name on Reddit or Twitter and there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people saying this stuff. Hearing this stuff like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times is really draining to me. And like, it's funny and I just like, I can laugh it off, but it's very draining at the end of the day. And so it's I can like, imagine why it would, would be. I continue to say, well, this upset? Why be because honestly, I can imagine it would be because honestly, not everybody is um, able to see, at least for me, I'm able to laugh at those comments, use it for like a fanboy salt video, and then just like delete it later and be on my way. Uh, but for other people, it's got to be really draining. It's got to suck ass, you know, but yeah, honestly, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know if it's bravery. I don't know if it's whatever. I, I think it generally just makes me laugh to see just how psychotic people get over other people's opinions on things. Like I like it. It's funny and it's sad at the same time. Why would I do it? Or this one here, the most sane vegan says, uh, again, the world would be an objectively better place if we crowdfunded a rocket ship to launch Finn McKenty and his fascist wife straight into the sun, LMFAO. If that's how being vegan makes you act, you better eat some fucking, you, you better get, you better eat you a steak fast. And maybe seek some therapy and seek God. Because if being vegan is making you act like that, good Lord, somebody get this guy a steak. Like, these people are crazy. They're crazy. You're describing the problems of every YouTuber there is. 100%. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. But why do you think so many YouTubers burn out and quit? It's because of stuff like this. Like these people. Yeah, and it's unfortunate. But at the same fucking time, when you say shit like, like when you and other YouTubers are saying shit like, we wouldn't be here without you guys. When you're saying shit like that, that's what feeds these psychopaths. You give them too much power. You cannot do that. You cannot. Shit. <laughs> Shit. My bad. Nah, that, that was not intentional. That literally, like, I think my fingers or whatever the fuck. But anyways, you cannot do that, though. You cannot fucking do that. Like, you cannot give these people power like that, bro. That's what feeds this, this type of psychotic behavior. People are basically poisoning themselves by being this angry. Hating somebody you don't even know like this is such a profoundly unhealthy thing. So the lesson to me is like, if you don't like someone, that's fine. Like, just ignore them. I mean, you see these people in, like, with politics, people do this all the time. People raging about Trump online yep. or raging about Biden online or raging about whatever, like, social issue. Right? There is... It's one of those things where it's like, if you don't like someone, it's like, either you can make content about them, or if not, then just ignore them. Luckily for me, I shit on Cody Rhodes, I shit on Triple H, because they're both idiots, and I make content about them, and people happen to like that sort of content. For whatever reason or another, they like that sort of content... And frankly, I feel like it's very fun to do, and it's a great release for, you know, some of those frustrations that I have, um, especially when it comes to Triple H and his shitty booking. But, you know, that's that's really what that is, like, because if it wasn't for that, then I would have to not, I, I probably wouldn't tweet it out or anything like that, because you would have to just ignore it if you're not at least doing something like constructive about it 
zero upside to this do not do not be this person do these people seem like Ever. happy people to you clearly not these are clearly not happy people with happy lives no so taking myself out of this equation the lesson here is like if you don't like anything or anyone my advice is just say nothing it's not going to make you feel better to do this and then there's this sometimes it might which is really insane so i saved this one here because i want you to see where this comment is i was on a playstation podcast okay called oh constellation with colin moriarty formerly of ign and kind of funny and now he has last stand Media, oh, I know. which i'm pretty I, sure I know is like that guy. the the largest playstation podcast on the internet so i'm on this podcast about video games <laughs> and this person said i'd recommend deleting this finn is a transphobe and a sex trafficker Working with him might hurt your business now that he's outing himself as a monster. There is so much wrong with this statement. People will just say anything. What proof do you have of this? This is another thing I hate about this fucking psychotic generation, too. Why are people always so quick that whenever people don't like someone, they immediately accuse them of, like, being a pedophile or a sex trafficker? That is disturbing as shit. You put those allegations out there on people simply just because you don't like them. That is mental illness in its finest form that is to quote my boy abba uh yeah basically to quote abba of abba and preach that is a sickness of the highest order it is bad it's really bad and people just throw these accusations out there like literal candy <laughs> yeah that's what's most disturbing of all but i bet you actual like bad people that are like doing that trafficking and all that type of stuff i bet you they're not actually talking about that nope but because oh you don't like this person's opinion on something instead of calling them an idiot or a piece of crap you want to say stuff like this really speaks to what kind of actual like just psychopath you truly are how truly disturbed and just a godless human being you truly are and how much you truly need help jesus christ now they're just making shit up about you like literally nothing about this is true because when they have nothing on you when they have nothing to talk about they just have to pull shit out of their ass which is just pathetic and crazy by the way at all like this is just straight up fiction if you think my opinions about music suck that's totally fine totally fair like you're allowed to hate my opinions but <laughs> does bro live in cnn how many people think i'm a transphobe like this is one of the things people say honestly and this is the thing when it comes to people like oh they're transforming they're right i if these people put out genuine content, I know people can't separate the art from the artist. Like, there's some people out there that can't. If they're like, whatever, if I enjoy their content, I don't have to like them as a person. So if they're a racist, if they're a transphobe or anything like that, I can still like the, in like, I can still like and remember fondly the content that they gave us. But, like, the content and all of that stuff. But, you know, I don't have to like them as an individual. Like, because it's not like I'm ever going to hang out with these people. So, you know, that's why I don't, that's why I didn't make a big deal about the Hulk Hogan thing. At no point am I going to meet Hulk Hogan. At no point am I ever going to hang out with Hulk Hogan. I don't give two fucks. He's still a legend in my eyes. And always will be. And there's nothing anybody can say or do to change that, not even WWE themselves. 
about me all the time is that I'm a transphobe. For no matter record, how much they try to cancel is him out. completely mm -hmm. untrue. Go find one negative thing that I've ever said about trans people, and you can't because it's never happened. I have never said a single... Verbal diarrhea? Brenda, that is verbal AIDS. That is verbal AIDS, bro. Negative thing about trans people in my entire life, and I never will, because I am completely supportive of trans people. I always have been, and I always will be. The end. And yet, somehow, people just, like decide out of nowhere that I'm a transphobe, which is completely untrue. And then obviously a sex trafficker, like this is just insane. The reason yeah, why he's okay. calling me a sex trafficker is because my wife is Vietnamese. Well, she's American. Well, then in that case, he's just a complete racist piece of shit. <laughs> so dating a Vietnamese woman automatically means that you're a S trafficker. Really? Okay. So in his sort of weird, messed up, Zeb Coulter like brain, that makes you up. Oh boy. American, but she's of Vietnamese descent. This is where the horseshoe theory becomes real of these like super online, terminally woke people reveal themselves to actually be ignorant and racist. It this is like. Comments like that are like a very deranged mixture of the Zeb Coulter character of like of WWE past and synthetic man combined into one monstrous deranged individual. <laughs> is they think that because my wife is Asian, that means she's a foreigner, which she's not. She's born in Washington State, just like I was. And they think that if you were married to someone who is Asian, well, then you must have, like, bought them overseas or some shit. Which is, like, racist. if you think about it, that's kind of, like, ignorant shit that, like, your racist grandpa would say, right? Yeah. Again, like, I mean, this is funny, but... But think about this. It's like there's two points I want to make here. Number one, for creators, like how does it, how do you think it makes people feel? You know, for me to go look at the comments on this PlayStation podcast I was on, and then I see that someone's calling me a sex trafficker. Like, if you think my opinion on death, honest to God, one, report the shit out of that comment. If you can't delete it, you know, would it not be on your channel? If you can't get the person on that podcast to delete that. Report that shit, dude. Because if it's in your comments on one of your videos, not only am I reporting that, I'm deleting it too. And that person's completely blocked. Because that is insane behavior. What the actual fuck is wrong with you? Imagine being so triggered over someone's like music opinions or even opinions, period, that that's the route that you have to go to because you have nothing else to talk about. Freakish. Ultra freakish. F-tone sucks. Fine. But when you start like accusing me of crimes, of sex crimes, that's not fine. The other no, point I want to make here is like, think about what this tells you, okay? Because you know that these things people said about me are lies. Think about all the things you've heard about other people and realize that most of those things were also lies, right? Mm -hmm. Like on Reddit, you hear people- Like I'm tempted to think about the Vince McMahon shit, honestly. Especially the fact that this bitch is now trying to accuse John Cena in The Rock now, which I know this has nothing to do with this, but the fact that that's suddenly a thing. Oh, they still have, they're still in contact with Vince. Oh my God, that must mean they were involved somehow. We're doing that now? Right, like that, that, that's the route that we're going to. Like, really? So, because that they have contact with him in some form, that means they were, they had a hand in your alleged abuse or sexual abuse. Um, so, I guess that means Roman Reigns, a guy that has, like, a beautiful wife and daughter, was a part of that, too, since he probably has contact with Vince. Uh, so, I guess that means that, what, Triple H just... Uh, uh, daughters because they were involved or, or had 
or, or like because Vince is their grandfather? Is that what that means? Because they're all a part of the family tree that they're somehow included in that? That's how stupid. But I only say that because the stuff that people make up because they don't like somebody is insane. It's it, it, apparently it's not enough to just not like someone anymore. You have to go full actual super brain dead just maniac oh my god bro just full maniac with with this hatred it's crazy well whatever some public figure oh didn't they do this didn't they do that maybe but probably not it's probably just like some third hand shit that they heard someone else say on Reddit and now they're just repeating it because they think it makes them sound cool and virtuous to repeat a lie about somebody. Exactly, when in reality, they're just a bunch of brain dead idiots who don't bother to actually look into shit, but because, ooh, somebody said something about it or it's going around because nobody has a mind of their own these days and they're nothing but a bunch of just mindless robots. They're just going to automatically assume it's true and not bother to look into it, probably because they already hate that person to begin with. So they just automatically want to assume that it's true. So I would like you to be very, very, very careful about what things you repeat about other people because you don't. That's just humans, really? No, that's not just humans. That's stupid humans. Honestly, it's not even humans. It's robots literal robots want to accidentally repeat something that is untrue because you wouldn't want people to repeat something about you that's untrue right i think it's genuine nope but that's what these people don't realize that's what these people don't get because if somebody were to say that about them they would hate that but yet they feel like that's okay rules for thee but not for me common trope on the internet genuinely like a real problem yeah lack of stopping and thinking before you do stuff that's what it is the point is like don't believe everything that you say about people because a lot of it is mentally ill people saying shit that is just a straight up lie anyway exactly. i just kind of want to talk about that again like this is not really just a because if there's not already evidence uh if there's no evidence i would at least maybe wait until there's evidence and then say what i feel or not i'm not just gonna be like oh oh they were accused of this they must have make it dead you know like unlike some complete r tarts out there looking at you moist critical you stupid monotone fuck about me the takeaway from this well oh guys let's get got the video or this trial would it's a bit bad like oh god you stupid how the hell does that guy have a mil you know what? let me not even get into that right now that i i want everyone to think about is number one basically the the big heading here is to think for yourself. Don't just consume content that reinforces what you already think to be true. Like challenge your own ideas. Go find content that you don't People agree are too with lazy and, to do and that. give it a fair They're shot. Make a conscious that, effort to expose yourself to new topics and new ideas and new people. Don't live in a world where you trap yourself in a filter bubble. That's number one. And then number two is along the same lines of that is like, you see how insane these people are and all the things that they say about me, they're just straight up lies understand that the majority of people who say things like this online are literally insane these people are not well so Obviously. next time you see somebody accused of doing something terrible think twice before you believe it and yep, as far as exactly. my future on youtube i'm gonna keep doing it as long as i possibly can but i mean i think as long as people sort of for hey you hear that all of you out there what finn just said was very right if something is acute, someone is accused of something, don't just immediately believe it and then try to like make little thumbnails and videos trying to act like, oh, this person's a scumbag. Oh, they did it without even looking into the evidence just because you want a bunch of cheap views. 
Like, actually look into it and see. But, of course, not, because you're a bunch of lazy fucks. You're not going to be in a bunch of mindless robots. And it's just easy for you to assume that, especially if you already hate the person. Then it's really easy for you to assume that. Forced me into making content about 2000s rock music. There's only so much longer I can do that. I'm hoping I can keep doing it at least for the rest of this year, but we shall see. And I really hate that, you know, Finn feels like that. Um, you know, that really does genuinely suck to see a content creator feel like that they can't explore other options. But again, it's like, that's what happens when you put so much stock into your audience and you give them so much control instead of just wanting to, like, trust yourself and take chances with your content. But anyways, man, I know this was a bit of a long video. Um, <laughs> I had a lot to say, you know, I had a good bit to say. Some stuff I could have cut out, but fuck it. It's probably, it's actually pretty real late. It's like damn near almost 2 a.m. So, yeah, I'm not going to be doing any sort of editing for this video at all. Screw that. Uh, and just here it is how it is. But nevertheless, let me know if you like videos like these and other videos I do on the channel, such as Smasher Pass videos, tier list videos, Let's Play videos, which we usually have every Wednesday where I'm playing a variety of games, uh, old, new, indie triple a or whatever the fuck um yeah as well as other content i do on the channel which i can't describe all here and you're just gonna have to look at the channel and see all the playlist because if i were to describe them we'd be here all night and this video is already an hour and some change long so other than to shield some more stuff i'm not gonna keep you here any longer than you have to be but with all that being said if that all sounds good to you Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe if you so choose to. And maybe, just maybe, for a dollar a month, you could become a Booty Hunter VIP member. That's right, a Booty Hunter VIP member. And what does that VIP membership come with exactly? It comes with perks such as custom emojis, access to videos such as these, and others, minutes, d hours, days, weeks, sometimes even months ahead of time before they're officially released to the public, bro. And that means any type of video. Um, so, yeah, whatchamacallit, uh, as well as, like, also Discord mod access. That's right. Discord mod access, um, like, when you're a VIP member, uh, you could just click the link down in the description to join the Discord, and you can automatically become a mod on the Discord if you're a Booty Hunter VIP member. But don't fret. For those of you who are not Booty Hunter VIP members, you could easily also uh, join the Discord as well by just clicking the link in the description. Um, yeah, you could do that too. Um, and last but not least, of course, Shout outs. That's right. Shout outs at the end of the video, just like my homies, just like these awesome people here. People such as Xavierus, Tiffany, Stratton, Fan, Just Drew, 312, The Gothic Fighter, Marquis, Mar, Mar Taylor, and of course, who could ever forget, Marcus Wright. Anyways, man. Shouts out to the Booty Hunter VIP members, man, and shouts out to the rest of you who just support the channel like y'all do by just liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and all that good YouTube stuff, man. Um, and also, lastly, if you do decide to subscribe, just click the, yeah, be sure to click the notification bell to enable notifications so that you get notified of videos that I make on the channel as well as make sure you hit all notifications so that you don't miss even one, even one single upload that I make on the channel. Um, and I guess with all that being said, not going to keep you here any longer. Uh, and until then, this has been your boy, TW Booty Hunter, giving you guys another banger. And I will see you guys next time.
Thank you for being an ass and not watching the whole video. You didn't listen to a single damn thing I said. Thank you for being an ass. Only hearing what you wanted to and getting butt hurt like the sensitive little bitch you are. Thank you for being an ass.